Hello Taurus, thank you so much for tuning in to your May reading with me, Lorian, and a very happy birthday. I'm so happy to celebrate this month with you if your birthday is in Taurus. Okay, so this is a general reading and it's going to be for Taurus Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. As always, if you do want to check out the overall arch of your May reading it's probably best to look at some other aspects of your chart as well um, and you can have a look at the other readings too. If it is a personal or private reading that you'd like with me click on the link to my website choose which reading you would like and you'll get put in the queue for a reading with me. Um, if you also want to get access to the new readings that I'm doing and the additional readings every single month all you have to do is click on the link to Patreon and from as little as a dollar a month you can get access to all the additional readings that I do. Um, sometimes romance like with these cards we had a reading recently, rune reading every new moon and a crystal reading every full moon. So hopefully as well some more vlogs coming up too. Haven't done one of those in a while so let's have a look and see. Now we're using the Taramuka, printed by the Scarabeo. Let's see. Wow, okay. Now then, I will just give you a little bit of a warning. If you do hear pairing or chirping of any kind, it isn't me. <laughs> it is actually my cat or he's not even my cat I mean he comes in now and again for feeding and he sleeps over and he's very good friends with my other cat um, but I call him Bean because he is very small um, so if you hear anything like that he is my familiar when I do this sort of stuff so he's just on the, the place next to me over there <laughs> um, so if you hear anything like kitty wise it's probably him Hopefully he won't interrupt the reading because he does sometimes do it while walking around here. So let's have a look at what this comes through. You've got two balance cards, very strong. You haven't got a bad month to be honest with you Taurus. I just think that you have to have a little bit more balance. Like I just said, you have two balance cards here. Very important, I feel, for the future. Um... Okay, so... They're saying the past is coming forwards and the truth is not to be denied. Um, I'm staring at this one as I'm saying that. There's so much more for you to discover um, with this one in particular. This seems to be almost like battling yourself against maybe looking at your past, looking at the last year of your life, especially if it's your um, birthday coming up um, and maybe just feeling as though you're trying to kind of make sense of everything. Like, how did it get from here to A to B to C to, you know, and just seeing if you can actually make sense of the past, seeing if you can work with the past in order to make things right for the future. As you know, or you may not know, we're in a universal year one, which means that we are now moving forwards and into the next nine year cycle. This is where we stake our claim. This is where we very much make our case basically for ourselves and we don't want to get stuck in the same rota as we've always been. So this is about maybe learning from the past, learning from what has been before and just trying to make something good out of it, make something new. And I do honestly feel that there's so much within this card that maybe suggests that you will be looking for something different to achieve um, this year or this further on. You know, communication um, seems to be an incredible source here for you to move forwards and for all this to kind of come through. But like I say, you do have two balanced cards. This one seems to be the you know, again, you staked your claim here and you're looking into the world and you may be thinking, okay, so where do I belong? Where is my place? I feel as though a lot of you Tauruses are trying to beat the opposition um, and you should be focusing on yourself. There are so many opportunities out there. Um, they just said for you to enjoy and for you to love. Please don't focus on other people. Don't focus on 
um, oh, I need to beat them. I need to, why have they got this car and I haven't got that car? Don't worry about that. You'll get your own version of things. You know, that, that sort of thing. Like, why isn't my relationship as nice as their relationship? Why isn't my career going as much as their career? You should never compare yourself to others. Never, ever. No matter what age you are, be present in your own life. And look at the all world, not other people's. Their version is different. Everybody's version of the world is different. So I would say that you have to kind of look at it in a very intricate manner for yourself and say, where do I see myself next year? So it's looking behind and looking ahead simultaneously. It's almost like saying, I do have the tenacity to do this. I do have the wherewithal to do this. I do. I am able to kind of move forwards and have a lot of strength from this. And then we have the two of pentacles. And again, this is very much about balance. So this is saying only choose two things that you feel that you can handle at once. They don't want you to run around like a chicken with its head cut off going, oh yeah, well, I can do this and this and this and this and this and this and then miss out on focusing on what's important, which is you. That is a very big message for you saying that they do not want you to have to run around and do this and do that and then miss out on some very big opportunity. I mean, you may be on some rough seas because you know, you've got the rough seas here and you may feel as though chopping and changing and tides coming in and tides coming out and like your mood's all in the kind of wind, but I feel like it's settling down. And if you concentrate on your health and your career or romance in your career or family life and your health, you know, it doesn't matter what combination it is. What this needs to do is just fix things. It's kind of like you have so much power. And Taurus, I really do mean that you have so much power. You have a lot of magic in you. And not actually, not many people really mention the magic of Taurus. Not many people mention how intricate Taurians can be and how steady your application and discipline to power can actually be be and manifest because I think a lot of people oh it's just a bull in a china shop being stubborn I mean, no no there's a lot of deep connections there I mean Taurus is a sister sign the polar opposite of um Scorpio and we do share many traits in common so I do feel that your innate sense of knowing and value and emotion maybe just needs to be balanced a bit this month because you could be preoccupied with birthdays or you could be preoccupied with something but just bring the focus back on you and make sure that you're doing something that you really enjoy and that you really want to see through because spirit's got your back it's about looking at the past, yes, but also about looking forwards. They're kind of saying, look, if you ever need something, just talk aloud to us and we'll do our best to help. Just talk to us like we're there in the room. Very much be there. Very much just kind of be present and open to hearing information as to what everybody wants to hear, basically. I think that's what they're trying to say. Just open your ears. Make sure that you're aware of messages that are coming through. Because I do feel you're going to get a little bit of a leg up the ladder today. Um, not necessarily today, this month. I think you're going to get a little bit of a kind of push if you just sit and open your ears and open your eyes. Go, okay, guide me to what you feel is best. And this could happen at various times throughout the month. And you need to be very focused on that. I would also say that... It, well, actually, my guides just said believe in fantasy believe like I was looking at this lady and I thought wouldn't it be wonderful if you could just literally pluck a starlight from the sky and have that in your life and they said well believe in that fantasy believe in fantasy believe in possibility believe in what makes life magical believe in the fairy tales of what used to be believe in gods and goddesses and allow your imagination to run away with you you know what I mean or you run away with your imagination either or just kind of take the initiative and say yeah take me you know I, I'm very much open to this I manifest in various different ways it's kind of like when people ask for a spell and you know I do do spells for people and they go I think this is going to be the solution to all of my problems I feel that it has to be delivered to me in this set pattern it has to be this that is not the way spells work for one and two it's very easy to get wrapped up in the rigidity of how you want something to come through to you. Like, I want some money, so it must be through the lottery. Not necessarily. 
I think you just have to be open this month to the ways in which your desires and your hopes and dreams will actually come through to you. So rather than say, I'm going to meet somebody and it's going to be at this party. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but don't be rigid in your expectations that that has to happen. Just welcome any opportunity that comes through because I think you limit yourself if you don't. And this isn't to everybody. I do feel that you know, the more you talk about your guides or to your guides, this is going to be really good for you. Okay. So let's see. Now, as you know, I am going to do a rune. And I will choose it with my eyes closed. So what have we got for Taurus for the month of May? What would they like to tell them? Whoa. There's a string. Okay, there it is. Who have we got? Oh, I was just thinking of this one the other day. So this is, I think it's now, now, I really cannot pronounce the names. Now this, I think, this is survival. This is determination. This is patience. I think even I was talking about this before. Um, it may have come out for somebody else. But I can't remember. Anyway, this is survival, this is patience, this is determination, this is all about being one within yourself. If it was the other way, kind of like that, then it would mean that it would be distress and need and kind of restlessness. But this feels as though, you know, you as Torians, you are very good at endurance tests, you are very good at determination and also patience. But sometimes you can be so stubborn that you want things to happen now. Again, I just feel that if you can just kind of expand, believe in the fantasy, believe in the possibilities, believe in miracles, you may actually discover that things come to you a lot quicker and a lot more awe-inspiring than maybe you're used to. And I think this is basically saying, keep going as you are, but just kind of change your mental aspect. You've got the makings of, you know, basically cementing a wonderful year here this is kind of like saying hey well yep i face my past to face my future boom what are you going to make of it this is a really good read i know sometimes the message can come across as serious but there's so much possibility that i'm just trying to get that through to you there's so much possibility that you can use it doesn't mean like to be like an aquarius or a piscean that sometimes can get lost in the fantasy because i think you're very tethered but you, you find your way back and you can find your way into back into your, your version of the world and see things that are coming through to you. So it really does seem like it's a brilliant, brilliant time here for you, Taurus. And I do wish you all the best. What are you planning on if you are having a birthday this month? What are you trying to do? Is there anything that you wanted to achieve recently? Any plans for this year? Do let me know as always because I'd be absolutely fascinated to know. And thank you all for leaving your very supportive comments, subscribing and sharing, liking, everything that you do to support me. Again, if you'd like to take that further and support me on Patreon and get access to all the additional readings you can do, that's information down below. Or if you want me to read for you with a specific question in mind, absolutely free and available to do those readings for you. And all you need to do is go to PayPal on the website and you can actually check what reading you would like to do. Without further ado then, I wish you the very best of luck in May. For those of you who are having a birthday, have a very, very happy birthday and I look forward to reading for you in June.